Uh, check it out. See the band? I'm just starting to band them up. See that? Got a bunch of youngsters. I banded up 15 youngsters. These are not quite ready. They're little. They're giving me a couple more days. It's still small. Oh, God, it's me up. Still small. These already banded up. How beautiful. You know what I mean? Little babies here. 2024 bands on there. They're about this size is perfect to ban them or maybe a little smaller. If they get too big, the, 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 depending on the bird, but the, the band may not fit. So you gotta be careful with that. All right, two check homers, they're bigger. They're already coming out their bowl, walking around these two. They're about to be banded soon. Perfect size to banding right there, see? I banded that today. Those are not ready. Too small. See that? Okay, too small. Up here, got some more up there. See that? Those are banded today, okay? Uh, where else? So over here, they're not ready yet. Give it another few days. These are banded, they're a little bigger. You know what I mean? Just gotta keep an eye on it. Cause they grow fast, man. You got these babies right here. They got banded today also. These guys were banded about a week ago. Look how big they are already, man, you know? So, uh, banded a whole bunch. We got these right here. We got web feet. So uh, I'm not gonna ban that one. But yeah, when you get a little bigger than this, that's when you ban them up. See how small this one is? It's too small to ban. I'd give it to at least next week. The end of next week. Or the middle of next week. But they grow fast. You gotta keep an eye on them. Look at the grizzle. See, his are too small. See? Small feet. You can't ban them when the feet are this small. See that? Look how small the feet are. See? Let me show you. See? Tiny. You gotta be bigger. Oh, man. Bro, it just got all over me. There you go. See the feet? It's mad tiny. Gets a little bigger. All right? This size. The perfect size. To ban them up. Yeah, so I went in all three coops showing you. I didn't go into the Turkish tumbler one. They got a couple youngsters in there. They're kind of small. Then uh, the uh, kit box, I didn't go in there neither. So I banded around 15 youngsters today, and I got more than that. It's like, I don't know, maybe about 30 youngsters in the coop. But I banded around 15. I'm going to have to band another 15 to 20. Cause there's more that are hatching too. So there's eggs in there. So before you know it, it'll be 50, 50 youngsters born or whatever. But um, <laughs> if you add them all up. So it's going to be a nice little stock of birds, babies. All right, so that's how you do it. Right. Gotta ban them up before it's too late. If they get too big, you can't ban them up. They gotta wait, you know, give them clip ons or whatever. Or let's say you saw these bands that are ear bands that they're a little bigger than, than the usual band. I think they're 10 millimeters, something like that. And you put you can just slide those on even after they grow up. But I just buy the eight millimeters. Right. But um also I just wanted to give an update on the flights that I caught. Two flights. The one that came from Broadway was the breeder. In Brooklyn, and the other flight that was, I believe it was Johnny's flight that he gave away to somebody. I think to, I forgot who it was, gave it away, and I guess they lost it. I called it, I asked him if he wanted it back. He said, Ah, oh, nah, I'm good, I don't want it. That's all right. Kept the birds, kept the birds, had them in there. There were two hens, there were not a hen and a cock, there were two hens. Then my boy Scotty called me up. I mean, he said he wanted the flights. I said, all right, man, you know, you can have them. You can have the flights, man. You know, it's all good, you know. I gave him the flights. He got them. He said he had mates for them, so they're going to be happy. You know what I mean? You're going to make them up with some, other, some nice other flights, and you're going to be some babies and stuff like that. You know what I mean? He got a lot of birds, so he got flights, too. He got tip to ten flights, so he got both kinds. So he's good. So he's going to he's gonna breed them. With his flights, so it's perfect. You know what I mean, I don't, I, I don't fly flights. I used to fly flights. I like flights. Don't get me wrong. I just don't fly them anymore. I like to fly them on the rooftop, supposed to a backyard. They bet. You, I think you're better when you're a little higher. But you can get them to fly no matter where you are. I'm not. Don't get me wrong. But I like to keep all flights, and I don't even have the extra coop for that. You know what I mean? So I would like it. So you know, if I have flights, I would have to like make a little coop extra or. Uh, split one of these up and put the flights in. I don't want to go through all that, so I'd rather just stay with the, what I got and how I have it. I'm into the Birmingham right now. I like the tipless Canadians. <laughs> I like tipless Canadians, Grizzles, Budapest. I like them. I love the Birmingham. I love the row. I love the Turkish tumblers. So 
that's what I want to keep right now. Like flights too, but you know, um, they're good pumpers. If you wanna, if you're a new starter, you wanted to breed some good birds, yo, get a pair of flights or two. And uh, if you don't want to, if you don't want to fly all flights and you wanted a different kind of baby bird or whatever, they got it like short beaks or whatnot, yo, put the eggs under the flight, let them breed them. They'll pump them real good. The youngsters will go fast, man, faster than most. Let me just say, just because uh, when you're breeding and you see a baby, you might see two born at the same time. One might grow so quickly and the other one might take a long time depending on how they're being fed. So just that note that I say you got to keep an eye on it when you're going to ban because of that. All right, so the two flights are gone. Two strays are caught. You know, it was pretty exciting catching them and whatnot. Uh, the first flight was uh, the better looking flight from Broadway. The second flight was a nice looking flight. You know, not like the one from Broadway. But the second flight was like super smart. You know, he didn't want to, he was playing hard to catch. So, gave me a hard time, but I finally caught it. Um, so, he got them both. So, um, he'll breed them. And um, I'm happy that they could be really home somewhere with someone that got the same kind of birds. So, they could, uh, I don't know, live a happy life. I'm sure they'll stay. They're not going nowhere. Once they get made it, I said they ain't going nowhere. All right, anyway, I'm going to shut down the video, put some grid down for some of these birds. So I got, like I said, I got the Grizzles, Canadians, Booties, Budapest. They're out. Um, and they went out, they landed, they flew for about ah, 40 minutes, I think. They didn't fly for that long today. Even though 40 minutes is still a lot. Um, they came down and they're, they're relaxing, going back and forth. From getting some of that grit, pecking around and whatnot. You know, so I'm going to let them chill. Maybe I'll put the pan out, let them take a bath. So they will want that. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll shut this down and uh, put that pan down. See if they want to bathe. And I don't know. I haven't seen any hawks. So maybe I'll let out some rollers. We'll see. Later.